Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'll do unboxing of this Goat Bikes uh, brand and it's a motor Goat model. It comes with pedals and without pedals. So you can check link in description and there will be actually extra code like 10% off on any bicycle they sell. And don't forget hit subscribe and like this video. I will have another two bicycles from the same brand on my channel. So let's open up and see how the bike parked and uh, all the spec about the bicycle will go over and then we'll go for the speed test so let's open up actually this box was open i believe by the company because they sent me also pedal conversion kit so you probably will get a little bit different inside a uh, different setup but i have few boxes as well inside with some goodies and let's open up and see what is in every box so this one is conversion kit so basically my bike came without pedals and i can convert with the pedals if i want to uh, let's see what is in this box i'm very curious as well because it's pretty heavy actually for a charger so this should be something else most likely ah, okay it's a battery nice so it's a removable battery and look on the shape really cool like a tank and the battery comes with the two keys which you can attach and here's how the bike will look inside looks like i have uh, actually extra few packs actually they sell them on on the website as well i have red gold and some back thank you gold company for sending me them it should be really cool and nice color so i can use them on other bicycles so the wheel attached and I can see a real large spring over here, the rear suspension. So I'm gonna remove the bike and assemble it and I'll show you how. Uh, the first step, I'm gonna attach the wheel and uh, before attaching the wheel, make sure you remove the nuts and the locking washer from both sides because it will be much easier to install it this way and you do on both sides. So once you remove it, you can uh, remove this uh, protective fork and you would lift the fork up and then you will just insert the wheel by lifting the fork and make sure you put uh, disc brakes between the pads, okay. And like this. And next you will just insert this uh, locking um, a washer and they use the nut to tighten up from both sides. And same thing on this side. And then you use the wrench to tighten up from both sides. Next step you need to touch the handlebar so you would need to remove this bracket with a hex key so you would remove these four bolts first and next you would get this uh, handlebar bring it up make sure you attach it correctly insert the handlebar and reattach the same bracket you removed with the same bolts The next step after you touch the handlebar, I'll touch the light. You would need to remove these two bolts from both sides, like this. And looks like it should be pretty simple. You just reattach it. And I would use this rubber spacer probably inside. So it will not so it will stay better yeah i'll use between the mounting the rubber spacer it comes with and reattach with the 
bolt and you do the same thing on the other side you just use this uh, rubber spacer between the light and the bracket and reattach with the bolt it came with you do first with hands and then you retighten once you attach the headlight you would need to reconnect this uh, wire it's a blue color you just match two arrow and push it from both sides that's it the next step i would attach this uh, fenders it should be very simple so what you need to do first remove this uh, bolt from here and from both sides over here you remove this two bolts just insert it here and reattach with the same bolts you just removed attach the fenders and here's how i attach it the bolt right over here is the one i removed and reattach the same bolts i removed from the fork and bike almost assembled and then next i will attach the packs i choose the golden one i have a red and black uh, you can buy x uh, like different color on the website so i'll just uh, attach it just screw from both sides do you with your hands first And then you can use a Phillips screwdriver and insert this in these holes and tighten up. Okay. And you do the same thing on the other side. And here's how the bike will look once you assemble it. It looks really actually amazing, much better in person than I saw on the picture. So uh, I'm 5'11 and just to want to show you how it will be feeding you. So uh, the highest position of the seat is about 33 and a half inches from the ground. So if you're about 5'9", maybe you can still ride it because I'm 5'11". And actually, it's, as you can see, I'm standing and it's just perfect for me. So it's great for the taller person as well. And let me show you what it comes with. So it comes with originally with the black uh, packs but you can also can buy different colors. It also come with a, a Bluetooth speaker, which is pretty loud. I will not attach it, but you can attach it to handlebar, pretty simple, with uh, only screw over here to attach it. And it will be more fun to ride at the beach or anywhere you're cruising on. Also, you can get one of this um, back from the website. You can find link in description with a discount code as well and it will fit over here perfectly so it will make even look cooler we'll go over the spec and then we'll go for the speed test and see how the bicycle actually perform without pedals okay so let's go first with the speaker uh, so it comes with this free bluetooth speaker and it uh, has uh, options to uh, charge it also this inside over here you can insert sd card if you want to or connect to your phone and listen to music while you're riding you can attach right over here i'm gonna attach probably later on right now i need space for the phone and some other equipment to record the video the battery it's uh, looking really cool and nice over here is a button to check uh, if it's fully charged also uh, all the information right over here about the battery it's 13 amp so it's 624 watt hours it's not the largest one but you can buy from the website 20 amps which will be almost double size and you can replace it or have it an extra battery if you want to and the charging port right over here you can charge it on the bike or over the bike as well and from another side you can remove the battery right over here it comes with a key and it comes with actually two keys so you can remove it take it with you inside charge it come back and ride it so it's a very great feature because i have another bike where you cannot really remove this type of battery so it's a very great feature as a seat wise look on the seat how beautiful it is it's a very soft actually very soft and pleasant like to the soft it's like feels like a leather actually and over here it says good bikes it does looks uh, very much like super 73 if you look but i think it's even cooler looking and of course it's less expensive um, it comes with a um, dual suspension the crown double fork it's uh, looking really cool but it's not adjustable 
but again uh, most people never adjust the fork because running for safety as a uh, travel looks like about 80 millimeters but i'm not 100 percent sure i didn't measure it but looks like uh, 80 millimeter travel fork which should be good or maybe 60 millimeters not sure headlight it's a pretty bright the rear suspension comes uh, really large and looking not only looking cool but also it's a uh, air suspension so uh, air shock uh, over here right underneath over here there's a valve you can um, put the more air to get it much stiffer if you need to um, I'm not sure how much for this specifically shock because I didn't find any instruction on it but there should be some instruction how much air you can put in so you can put right over here the valve and it comes with air suspension which is great the packs which can convert to the if you want to but i don't think i'm gonna convert maybe i will we'll see but i like so far as uh, just with the packs to ride it's really cool because it's much lighter the bike weight about 73 pounds as is uh without battery will be nine pounds less because the battery weight nine pounds and um, it does come with nice signal light you can switch simply um regardless if it's the light on and now and the light actually very bright as you can see and the signals not only the front also on the rear so you come with a, a dual signal lights front and rear and nice uh, tail light and brake light uh, when you press the brakes the light will turn on as you can see So the bike itself really really cool and fully loaded with all the features and look on this display it's a really large and it comes with a diameter on the center pedal assist which you don't care because you don't have pedals once you have the pedals you can switch pedal assist plus and minus sign uh, you'll have a trip information by pressing M it will change to a diameter reading also by pressing F it will show you the maximum speed and average speed as well and on the top over here you'll see temperature the battery status in volt voltage also the date and the time on the left side you'll find the light turn on and turn off also the signal light left and right and the horn which is great uh, on the right side it's a full throttle and um, to get inside the settings you just press plus and minus at the same time and it will get you to settings in settings you can find a lot of information you, you might want to change but um, i recommend not to change anything other than maybe set up the uh, clock and the power maximum is set to the 1000 because there is, uh, this bike comes with 1000 watt motor continuous power and then you can uh, change change the temperature most likely by pressing um, m and then uh, minus and m again so it will change to f like fahrenheit and then i'll just press plus and minus again and see if it changed to fahrenheit right now yep it says 104.95 i think it's on the sun because i'm outside so it's show me uh high temperature right now uh maybe actually it's a temperature of the battery i'm not sure exactly but i think it's outside temperature uh so it's hot on the sun it comes with a, a mechanical disc brakes which is 160 millimeters and the brand is philo and the same mechanical disc brakes on the back on the rear wheel come with a kender tire which is 20 by 4 inches with nice nips over here for off-road riding and it's a puncture resistant tires casting and um, it doesn't mean you will not get flat if you're riding on the grass most likely you will get flat regardless if it's a um, puncture resistance but uh, it does have a little bit thicker wall so there's some wire so it will kind of better actually i know this is a big difference if you get flat but i recommend to put a uh, slime in them and or flat um you can buy them on amazon and it will prevent you to get flat 
it will seal once you get flat it will seal the hole depending on the diameter of the puncture of course the bike comes with a metal guards like fenders both of them also it comes with 1000 watt motor continuous power and uh, we're gonna go for the speed test right now and see how fast actually the bike can ride without pedal and let's go all right so let's go for the speed test to see how the bike actually perform actually acceleration pretty cool uh, easy to get 20 miles on the short distance but let's see how fast actually can go kind of really nice without pedaling and let's get started from here as always see how much i don't need to switch pedal assist anything just throttle let's go it's uh, about 12 on gps i'll go with gps 16 on gps 19 on gps 20 on gps 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 GPS show me 28, very stable on display. All right, so it looks like uh, display does not show me correctly information as a speed wise. It's kind of stuck under 26 miles, but let's go this direction. All right, so it was 28 this way, and now I'm going up uh, back. And see, usually it's about one or two miles difference because uh, this way a little bit uh, going like more downhill, so more flat, I guess. Uh, let's try it and see how fast it will go this direction as well. So I'll do two directions to make sure the mileage kind of accurate and uh, let's go and i'm gonna go with the gps speed because more accurate so it's about 15 miles very good acceleration 19 22 23 24 26 27 28 29 So 29 miles an hour based on GPS, which is uh, pretty good actually. Uh, I'm not sure why temperature is 117 degrees. I think because of sun going on the battery and maybe this temperature from the battery. I'm not 100% sure, we'll need to check it out. But 29 miles an hour, actually it's pretty nice. Let's go for a ride and see how the brakes works. Uh, so far, I mean, it's working good, but let's see how the cruising. Um, it's actually a different experience riding this bike. Uh, after uh, like hurricane, if you can call it, we got some trees fall off. Uh, we didn't have much rain, but still a lot of trees fall off. Anyways, it's a nice acceleration. I feel like uh, really like mud cycle. You can call it like motorcycle, a little motorcycle. It's not as fast as motorcycle, 29 miles an hour, but it's very comfortable to sitting, very stable on the road, uh, very good balancing. And um, let's try to see how the braking on this bike, because the brake is mechanical. They don't squeak at all, which is good. So they are not squeaky brakes, like people usually complain, they got squeaking brakes from some bikes. This one is pretty quiet. And let's go about 20 miles and see how the brake will work, if they can lock the wheel. And then, okay, already 24 miles, so I'll brake right now. Uh, it cannot really lock the wheel completely. It takes a little bit longer as any mechanical brakes because it's not hydraulic. So it would be nice to have on the powerful bike like this hydraulic brakes, but they are not bad brakes. They are pretty much just decent. Like uh, they are not squeaking, they are stopping, but again, they are not stopping as powerful as uh, hydraulic brakes. You have to press very hard to stop. The seat actually very soft, and I like the seat, uh, it's very nice. So, 
The rear suspension, it's uh, not bad. I thought it's going to be much stiffer, but actually it's not bad at all. Um, riding in the city, it should be a lot of fun on this bike. Off-road, maybe. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it off-road without pedals, uh, because uh, we have a lot of hills. But I will take this bike right now to the hilly area over here and to test it to the steep hill to see actually if it can climb. Right now I have on the battery 50 volt, which already a little bit discharged. And I rode on this bike already five miles. So, and the battery at 50 volt. So it's not fully charged. But I like the display, it's so large. And with uh, some information I need to find out what the temperature coming from because it's 118 de degree. So it's maybe from the battery, maybe just sun heating up the display. And, um, so let's go and see how it will perform. So getting close to the hill, you're gonna see it, it's actually pretty steep. And wow, actually this steep hill, once you get on like close, actually you can see this hill from far away because actually it's at, I think the one of the toughest position in this area. So I'm gonna try it. I try many bikes over here and i'm gonna stop on stop sign and then we'll go as i do with all the bicycles testing so hopefully we'll make it i hope really hope so okay let's go so it's going about 30 miles an hour right now 16 Uh, speed dropping to 14, 12, 10, 8, 8. So last time I tested 1000 watt motors, it got up to the hill and I think uh, it was about top speed about six miles an hour eight miles an hour right now it says seven miles an hour based on gps which is uh, decent and as long as it will make it that's more important for me right now because some bicycle never made it uphill it's still going actually seven miles an hour it's not bad so it's still pulling and you don't need pedals you know what it's made it seven miles an hour uphill and so okay it's it, it is thousand watt motor we don't really need pedals to go up to the steep hill and i'm 100 and i'm 215 pounds as you can see it's beautiful and yeah i saw some cops but they didn't say anything um it made it really nice i'm gonna test the brakes as well go downhill right now but before doing that i'll take some pictures all right so let's go downhill to see how fast well i'm gonna go speed but just to braking can feel the smell of the brakes because 32 miles is kind of fast for this type of brakes so again it's mechanical brakes 32 miles a little bit too fast for the brakes and you can feel like smell of the braking but it stopped but it stopped about 30 meters or 20 meters away from the point I need so it takes a longer time to stop that's kind of normal with the mechanical brakes always happen like this so we test today for speed which was making 29 mile an hour we tested uh, the brakes mechanical brakes stopping power as usual it's not uh, perfect for high speed bicycles but it does the job but not as good as the hydraulic brakes which i would recommend to upgrade to hydraulic brakes on this bicycle if you're planning to ride very fast which 29 miles an hour easy with me and tough but without load it can go up to 35 miles an hour so it means if you are lighter than me you may reach much faster speed 
also uh, it can climb the hill the steepest hill over here uh, about seven miles an hour which is pretty good uh, you can upgrade the battery to larger one which available on the website and again this 10% discount uh, in description if you like this bicycle it's actually a very good price and it comes with a dual uh, like signal lights which is also great as a safety and again if you like it check the link in the description so you'll save a lot of money and it's a fun bike to ride if you need pedals you can always upgrade to the pedals and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video